Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to count down my top 12 favorite search terms for Boris FX Particle Illusion. So Boris FX has recently released a free standalone version of Particle Illusion. I am not going to go through all the details on how to download that. There is a link in the description below with a whole bunch of videos on how to do that. Uh, all you have to do is download it and then bring it up. When you bring up Boris FX Particle Illusion, you will get this splash screen. And down here in the lower left, you can download the over 2,500 free presets that come with this particular application. So what is Boris FX Particle Illusion? Particle Illusion is an easy to use, powerful, high-end particle generator that gives editors and artists instant access to photorealistic particle effects for motion graphics, visual effects, titles, lower thirds, and background graphics. This application is really, really cool. There's a couple of things I'm gonna to do to set up. First of all, notice that we have uh, in what, what I would refer to as our viewer window, this is actually referred to as the stage. Here's the timeline editor. We have the layers that are attached into the stage. This is a trimmer window, it's a preview window. And then here are all the presets. You can actually take these presets, tweak them and make them your own. Uh, and then save them as your own presets. You can render them out. You can use them in your projects the whole nine yards. A couple of things I want to do here. First, if I go to View and Preferences, you'll see that you can change the default stage uh, properties and things like that. The big thing that I want to do is I want to click on Search Tags because if I search Tags, then I will not only be searching the names, of the presets, but also the tags that have been attached to those presets, and it gives me a better search result. Clicking apply. The other thing that I want to do is if you open up view, then you will see that you have different layouts. This is the default layout, and the hotkey is control one. The editor layout is control two, and the uh, create layout is control three, but the one that we're going to use is the browse layout, which is control four. This shows you thumbnails of all of the different presets. And you can see that there are a bunch of them over 2,500. So without further ado, I want to jump into my top 12 search terms. Number one, background. Using the background preset, you can select different um, backgrounds to add to your project. There are a bunch of them, uh, and they look really cool. And so you want to first by, start by going through and looking at backgrounds because background is what you'll set up your um, visual effects, your motion graphic, uh, even your lower third with, and it'll give you that opportunity to really create some whiz-bang, uh, pretty nifty-looking sorts of um, visual effects. Number two, Blast. Blast is great because you get all these different kind of boom shots, explosions, uh, whether they're aerial explosions, whether they're uh, spark explosions, um, smoke blasts, uh, blasts that are in, you know, rising um, gravity assisted, that kind of stuff. All of these different blasts, you have anime. There are all kinds of different explosions that you can play with. Also, you get this ice blast. One of the things that you can do in Particle Illusion is real time feel how the animation would look uh, by just clicking and dragging in the window. Number three, bubble. Bubble is fun because you can... Um, just get a basic idea of different bubble feels and looks that you can play with. You have uh, scattered bubbles like this. You have uh, dragging or clickable animatable bubbles. You have dot bubbles, right? 
Uh, you have these beautiful uh, shiny bubbles, right? Uh, rising bubbles, all kinds of different bubbles, even fire bubbles. Number four, explode. Explode is not just all of the blasts that we saw before, but all kinds of other um, fireworks and chunk explosions and things like that. Uh, Flash Gordon explosions. There are so many of these that you just you could spend hours just playing around with these different uh, booms and um, uh, blasts and explosions that are available to you. Number five, fire. Fire is great because it includes things like actual fire, whether they be um, you know smoky type fires or super infernos. Uh, intensive infernos and things like that. Um, also, though, it includes all of the fireworks and the sparks variations and things of that nature. Uh, these are just loads and loads of fun to play with. And whether it's animated kind of stuff or just background looking things, um, play around with those and have a good time. Number six, glitter. Glitter is so much fun because you can click on something and start dragging these glittery things around, whether they're glitter sparkles that you can uh, play with, add to your project, uh, or glitter, fairy glitter kind of a thing, uh, glitter fog, glitter lines, and even fireworks style glitter. Number seven, Pixie. Pixie allows you to play with all of these different pixie dust uh, presets. They are so much fun. You could sit here for hours and just mess around with these. Some of them have um, gravity associated with them. Some of them are just uh, sort of exploding pixies. And some of them are just random firing off things. Number eight, snow. Snow is great because you can create your own snowstorm, whether it's blowing snow or it is uh, falling snow. You have TV snow. You have avalanches, but also some motion graphic snowflake kinds of things, as well as, um, you know, sort of animational uh, snowflakes that you can create, and also icicles. Number nine, trail. Trail is great because... Uh, of the idea that you can drag your cursor around and leave a trail. So if you type in things like trail, then you get all kinds of different presets that use trails in their graphic. For example, this fuzzy draw, you're literally just drawing this fuzzy looking worm-like thing on the, um, on the canvas, right? This miscellaneous trail is designed to just have it trail behind your cursor or your animation spinners look at that trailing behind in a real-time fashion here are leaves with daisies that are trailing around behind these are so much fun you can play with these for hours number 10 tron this not only has a bunch of tron like waveforms and backgrounds and things like that but also incorporates the idea of electron microscope Number 11, water. Water is great because this will allow you to create some real nice caustic looking things. Plus, of course, water splashes, which again can be uh, animated. Um, you have a watery portal here. You have watery uh, style sparkles that you can play with. Um, fireflies over the water. All kinds of different watery effects that can be used in your project. And number 12, HUD. HUD, just as far as uh, giving yourself some sort of a heads-up display, doesn't really matter. Um, the kind of idea that you're, you're looking for, they have all kinds of different heads-up display looking uh, features that can be added to your project for that sci-fi sort of a realistic um, thing. Also, there's a few counters in the HUDs and things like that. Uh, really uh, to create a realistic looking uh, animation, news tickers, etc., and so on. So much fun. Play around with those. If you have any search terms that you think are really cool, do me a favor and put them in the comments below. I would love to see them. Also, I am adding a bunch of more search terms that I have found that I enjoy playing with 
in the comments below as well. Don't forget to look in the comments to see what other people have added as well as what I've added also. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor and like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell icon for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.